Hello, everyone, and welcome to Light Screen Action. I'm your host, Tiana Sermons. Today, I'm going to be interviewing Willis Guy, who plays in Disney Plus's new film, Godmother. Hi, how are you today? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Congratulations on your role in the film. Thank you. So you got a chance to play Mia in this fantasy comedy film called Godmothered. What was it like playing in a film like this? It was really, really, really fun. Definitely magical and lots and lots and lots of Christmas lights literally everywhere. Yes. And it was really fun because it filmed in Boston and that's somewhere that I don't get to go as often. <laughs> yeah, I've never been to Boston either. That sounds cool. Yeah. In the film, it talked a lot about the fairy godmothers, and they didn't have a lot of tasks that they could do, so they would have ended up being tooth fairies. Do you think it would have been more fun to be a fairy godmother or a tooth fairy? Um, definitely a fairy godmother, because teeth kind of gross me out. <laughs> and, like, what's the main reason that you think you would be a fairy godmother? Um to help everyone with their happily or happily ever after and make everyone happy and tooth fairies to kind of just take your teeth <laughs> yeah in godmother the fairy godmothers actually had a formula i knew a lot about the fairy godmothers but i never knew there was an actual formula it had three steps one a glittery gown turns a frown upside down then find their true love and they live happily ever after what were your thoughts on the formula um, I think it's unrealistic because anyone can love anyone and it could look any way for anyone. Exactly. I totally agree. So typically with Disney films, the happily ever after ends with the princess finding her one true love, which is usually a prince. In Godmother, we learned that happily ever after is different than for everyone, just like you just mentioned. How would you describe your happily ever after being a young actress in Hollywood? Um, let's see, this is hard. Um, I think I'd want to travel the world and get many different parts all over the world. That sounds like, like a really great experience. Yeah. One of my favorite characters from the film were Gary the Raccoon, and I think we would all agree that we would have him do our chores. If Gary could do homework, which subject would you have him help you with and why? Um, I would a um, million percent have him help me, help, me with, help me with math because that's actually one of my hardest subjects. Yeah, me too. There were a lot of hilarious scenes in this film. What was your favorite or what was the funniest joke, thing, or scene in this film to you? Um, my favorite scene to film was definitely flying in a watermelon carriage. It was so amazing and so fun. And actually how they filmed it was a little like ball mm -hmm. that was looked like a watermelon was on a big platform and men from all sides were holding it and jiggling it. Wow, that sounds amazing. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yes. Ooh. One of my favorite scenes from this film is when they were talking about the qualities you have to be to kind of raise a Beyonce. If you could have gave advice to Mackenzie on how she could raise a Beyonce, what would you say to her? I would say, um, never give up, keep trying, because sometimes it could be a little hard, but it's definitely worth it. Yeah, that's great advice. Thank you. The Grammy-nominated song, Rise Up by Andre Day, played a big role inside this film because there were a lot of characters trying to rise up. Who did you most enjoy seeing trying to find their happily ever after? I think Jane or Jillian Spader because it was just so memorable that she finally came out of her shell. Yeah. Yeah, that was a great thing to see. Yeah. For my last question, there were a lot of lessons that you could learn from this film, but what is the biggest message that you think people can take away from it? Never give up and happily doesn't af happily ever after doesn't have to look a certain way. It can look any way you want it to. I agree and I love that. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Willa, for talking with me today. This was thank amazing. You. Me too. Yes. 
That's all for this episode of Light Screen Action. I'm Tiana Sermons. That's all for now. Bye.